no matter what you might have heard from whatever media expert that has spoken to you about imminent war, I want you to know that it's never too early to start preparing for that event. And without causing any fear or anxiety, I want you to just keep calm and I want you to follow with us because in the next episodes of this series, we're gonna take specific strategic actions that are gonna help you to prepare in the event of imminent war. Now, today we're covering part one, and this is the first three things you need to do before you do anything else. In fact, these things are foundational, and before you take any other actions that we'll cover in future episodes, I want you to follow with us today. So welcome, thank you for joining us to part one. Hey there. So in the future episodes of this series, we're gonna be talking about some strategic and very specific things you can do to prepare in the event that you know war is imminent. This episode is different though, and this is kind of the framework, the basis that you need to establish first. Before you take any physical strategic actions, I want you to follow with me because today we're gonna be talking about the top three things that you need to consider to prepare in the event that war is imminent. And I'm gonna count them actually backwards. So we've got three, two, one, but these are the top and first three that I want you to consider. All right, number three, physical. I know you didn't want me to mention this, but you have got to get in shape. Now, you've heard the, the statement that the very best time to plant an apple tree was 20 years ago, and the second best day to plant an apple tree is today or something like that. I may not be quoting that just perfectly, but you get the point, right? Yes, we should have been preparing all along. It's not time to prepare physically when it's imminent that war might be around the corner and you're not physically ready. But I want you to know today is the day to start losing weight, to start exercising your physical body to to beat it into submission if you have to, so that, so that you can physically be prepared for perhaps a long hike, perhaps carrying heavy loads, perhaps extra work, perhaps surviving outside in the elements that you're not used to because you like the condition, air conditioned indoors that you're so used to. I want you to think outside the box and the very uh, top three things that you need to consider of those, this is number three, get physically in shape. And then once you've, once you've conquered that for yourself, I want you to turn and help your family also. It might just be getting all the junk food out of the house as quickly as possible. You could do that right now as soon as you get off of this video. You could go, could go and clean out your refrigerator and your cupboards and get all the junk food out. There are things you can do strategically to do this, and we'll talk more about them in future episodes, but right now I'm just presenting the concept. Number three is you've got to get physically fit, all right? Thank you for letting me say that and being so blunt. Number two, and that means number two is more important than even being physically fit. I want you to prepare your mind now this is a difficult one, but it is a, of utmost importance. In fact, if you were to get the, the Army's military survival manual right now and open it to the very first, guess what the first thing is that they prepare? It's their mindset. It is of utmost important, uh, importance. And, and I know that's kind of nebulous. How do you prepare your mindset? Well, a couple of the ways might be to consider where you're weak and where you're strong. Think carefully, think um, differently than you normally do on an easy, sunny Sunday afternoon when nothing's going on. If war is around the corner, evaluate carefully where your strengths are that you can lean on, where your weaknesses are that you might need to take account for and, and shore up those as quickly as possible. So you have got to believe that Life is worth living and preserving, and you have to take mental actions to, um, to say, if everybody else gives up, I'm not going to. If, if the world collapses around me, I'm gonna stay standing. 
I know who I am. I know my value. I know the worth of my life because it has worth to be of benefit to the people around me. There's still work for me to do. I have a reason for living. And you have to be so sure of that, that your mind helps the rest of you fall into line with actions that go along with that correct mindset. Does that make sense? I sure hope it does. And we'll talk more about it in the future, but that's number two. And now I have to get to number one, the very first top important priority for you to have in the event that you hear that war is imminent. There, there may not be time to prepare in any other way. And so if you had to cast off every single way I give you today and in the future episodes that go with this series, if you only had one way to prepare, this is it. And that is you've got to have your soul right. Now, you remember that our bodies are passing away. All of us die. There's not one person that has ever lived without ever having to experience death before you, now, or in the future. All of us will have to have our physical bodies die at some point, but our souls go on living. Our souls are eternal. And if you know that with me, you know that it is of utmost importance to prepare your soul. There's this scripture in the, the first book of the New Testament in your Holy Bible, Matthew 16, 26. And it says, what does it even matter if a man should gain the whole entire world, but forfeit his soul? In other words, what is survival? What is prepping even worth if you have lost your soul? So I need you to think carefully about that. If, if you were to see a nuclear bomb go off just in, in, in the distance and you knew you only had moments to live, would your soul be correct with, with your maker? I want you to know that that is your top priority. I hope that never happens to any of us. <laughs> I'm not saying it will, I'm not predicting that. I'm simply stating you have got to have your soul where it needs to be for all eternity because in a breath, your life, your physical body could be done. And at that point, you no lo longer have time to prepare your soul that is eternal. So prepare now and I'll give you more strategies and how to do that in the future episodes. But those are my top three considerations for you. Prepare physically, but that's only third in line. Prepare your mindset. Believe that you have a life worth living and absolutely plant your feet. Uh, mentally knowing that you're going to survive this and there is worth and value in you even preserving your life to be a help and a blessing to the people around you. And then first and foremost, prepare your soul, prepare your soul. It's the only thing that really matters. It's the only thing about you that is eternal. All right. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for letting me share from my heart, the top three things to consider. And don't go away because in the next episodes that go in this series, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty, the specifics, the actual activities of what you need to do if you find out that war is imminent wherever you are in the world. All right, until I see you again, God bless you. And would you go out and find someone to be a blessing to today? Bye-bye. <laughs>Hey there, before you go, I would love to share a quick word out of the Holy Bible with you. This is from the book of Isaiah and it's chapter 12, verse two. It says this, surely God is my salvation. I will trust and I will not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense and he has become my salvation. Now go spread the word.